What's up, nerds? Welcome to Cool Nerd Show. I'm Steve. I'm Joe. And we're going to give you some reading material for Luke Cage. So, Joe has gone through most of Luke Cage's catalog. <laughs> There's so fucking much. <laughs> and, uh... The, Luke Cage has been around for a while. He's been around since the 70s. It's <laughs> 76. He's funky. <laughs> and very jivey. And jivey. Um, and we're going to basically give you the essential. If you're looking to get into Luke Cage reading, this is what you want to read to get his overall history. That kind of his highlights of his career. Also, Marvel is super hella racist in the 70s. They were super hella racist in the 70s. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Where's my money, honey? Oh, sweet Christmas. Literally, I pray he doesn't say that in the show. <laughs> I kind of want him to say it. I do not want him to say that. (laughs) Every fucking catchphrase. I'm finding someone. Sweet Christmas, what's going on? (laughs) So, so if we're going to start off with Luke Cage, we're going to... I mean, it's kind of like a top five, but we're not going to name it. We're going to go in chronological order. Yeah. So, obviously, if you want to start off with Luke Cage, you're going to start off with his origin. Yep. So, Luke Cage, if you want the origins, you're going to want to read Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, Volume 1. Which you pretty much just see Luke Cage, a convict who's not really a convict. I mean, he did do petty crimes. He did do petty, but he, not what he went to jail for. Yeah, then he got framed by his former best friend. Yep. Goes to yeah. jail. Goes to jail, gets experimented on. He, he signs up for an experiment yep. to, be, to, to shorten his prison sentence. And then the experiment goes horribly wrong because one of the racist guards... Like, oh, back of my hate yeah. him so much. He uh, he fucks up the experiment. But it works out for Luke Cage because he gets superpowers. Yep, bulletproof skin, really strong. Breaks out of jail, goes back to New York, changes his name to Luke Cage because it was Carl Lucas at first. Really? Just, you know, really sealing that. Yeah. Oh, God. And then starts his up as hero for higher business. Yep. And then this is like him kind of like getting started. It is. And it's very jivey and funky. And it's, and it's very terrible in those middle issues. But once you get to, like, the beginning and those end issues where, like, back, a lot of stuff happens where his past comes back to haunt him, that's when it gets really yeah. good again. So then number two would be where that continues on. Mm-hmm. And that is Luke Cage, Luke Cage Power Man Essentials, Volume 2. Yes. And... and what do we see in that? Uh, that one is more just Luke Cage finally uh, finding himself as a hero, deciding that he's no longer going to be called Luke Cage because of his history as Carl Lucas, and people eventually maybe figuring it out. So he starts okay. going by the moniker of Power Man. Okay. So that's when he starts to become Power Man. Yeah. In uh, in that era, and then at the end of that, we see him team up with. Well, we see him fight Iron Fist. Okay. Because he's oh, first of all, he like fights Spider Man. Because well, James, Joe J- yeah, Jameson, Jameson hires paid him, him off to yeah. do it. Yeah. And then he's like, yo, you jive turkey. I ain't doing that no more. Spider-Man's a righteous dude, you dig? And I'm just like, <laughs> But you see him fight Iron Fist okay. and his friends Misty and Colleen. And eventually they join forces to defeat, I believe his name was... Marvel, you're genius with your name sometimes, but the Bushmaster. The Bushmaster. <laughs> the Bushmaster. Nice. Master of Bushes. <laughs> And then at the at the end of the of the novel, we see Luke Cage team up with Iron Fist, and then they become the heroes for hire. I don't even know why Danny Rand really. He's just like, I'm really doing nothing. I like you. <laughs> sure. We see the the budding friendship friendship of Luke Cage. Literally and, and happens Iron in Fist. one issue. Like it's it's like that. You're like, yo, now we best friends. Yo, now we best friends. <laughs> so that brings us to our third book and that is power man and iron fist marvel essentials volume two and that is kind of you get into the power man iron fist um i guess you kind of get in the thick of of what they're getting into yeah i mean there really are just you know one issue villains sometimes you'll get like that nice two to three issue guy but it really doesn't do anything until like you get close to the 90s where they actually get transported back to Iron Fist's sacred city of Kunlun and they have to start like a re- stop a revolution there. Okay. And I know a lot of like kind of um, their past comes in to haunt them in these issues. Oh, yeah, and no. Stuff. Luke Cage's like first girlfriend after the death of Reva, after he escapes from prison, Claire Temple, like comes back and okay. interrupts his current relationship with supermodel Harmony Young, who no one really gives a shit about. And Danny's past just keeps coming on him because he dating made terrible decisions. Dating supermodels, decision. though, all right? Luke yeah, dating supermodel. Uh, he doesn't like it. 
Also like, in the 80s. Is, they step into the 80s. Yeah, we go it. we go from the 70s to the 80s and then skip to like 1997 with Luke Cage. It's weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, he kind of goes underground after this. But um, there's also a Daredevil issue that's in yes, this too. Yes, they team up with Daredevil to save a Russian ballerina All from right. her abusive boyfriend. And that's also... Um, Vital because we're going to see them team up with Daredevil in The Defenders. Yes. So this is kind of an issue where you might get to see not a lot taken from it, but you might get kind of what to expect maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit, you know, briefly. Yeah, briefly. So now after this, we got two more and a couple honor honorable mentions. But um, after this, Luke Cage kind of... Drops off the map. Yeah, he drops off the map for a bit. Yeah. Um, and he'll come he'll pop up here and there. He's kind of like side characters. We don't really see him until the 90s, 2000s. Mm -hmm. And this next one isn't a Luke Cage comic. No. It's actually a Jessica Jones comic. Yes. And it's considered one of the best Marvel comic arcs in the history of Marvel. For reasons. <laughs> and that is Alias. And Alias basically centers around Jessica Jones. And her failings at trying to be a superhero. <laughs> yes. And then she becomes a private investigator. And Luke Cage isn't in every issue, but no. he's in a lot of the issues. So if you read... Alias, you kind of get the sense of, of his relationship with Jessica Jones. And what starts off... As just a thing. As just a one-night stand turns into something more after Jessica Jones becomes pregnant. Yeah, and Luke Cage is like, ah, oh, man up. <laughs> yep. Time to man up. <laughs> Luke, Cage is ma Luke Cage mans up. And that's basically... If you're a Luke Cage reader and you want to know more about his history, you have to read Alias. And you just yeah. should read Alias because it's a great comic. It really is. I don't know how Marvel pulled it out with a woman who, like... It really didn't. Wasn't it wasn't it. very popular. Like she it, was kind of like, I'm gonna save the. Ah, I fucked up. Yeah. I fucked up again. A lot of people died. Fuck. <laughs> it wasn't very popular when it came out. No. And it's it's gained more popularity over the years. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, definitely check that one out. And then from there, after Marvel ditched their Marvel Max, which was like their R-rated comic, they kind of did it for a little bit. Ditched that. So after Brian Michael Bendis did Marvel Max, he moved on to the Pulse. So our last one is The Pulse, and that is another Jessica Jones comic, but it has a lot of Luke Cage in it. And Luke Cage is almost in it through, throughout throughout the entire yes, series. Um, but it is more of a Jessica Jones comic. But again, you get Jessica Jones while she's pregnant, and eventually she has their child, Danielle Cage, named after Danny Rand, the Iron Fist, in The Pulse. So that is where, I guess... Would would top it off at our top five? Yeah, that's would, pretty much where you would end Luke Cage, and then we'll go into yeah. the honorable mention. And he's been, um, you know, he's been around since then because yeah. the pulse isn't anything super new. But um, that is rounded. That's his history. So honorable mentions. Where would we go after that? You'd go to the New Avengers, where this is pretty much after the Thunderbolts, led by Norman Osborn, have failed. Norman Osborn went fucking crazy, tried to take over the world again. They're like, nope. He's Norman Osborn. Yeah, Avengers come back. And Luke Cage is like, I wanna, I, I have a team that I think I could lead. And see, and Rogers is just like, give me a dollar. What? Avengers Mansion is yours. What? <laughs> this is yours now. So we got two Avenger teams. Good luck out there. <laughs> and so awesome. Luke Cage leads the new Avengers, which consists of like him, Songbird, Miss Marvel, Wolverine, Spider Man, and the Thing. And in New Avengers Annual Number One, he actually gets married to Jessica Jones. Yes, he does. So that's that's you know. A big event in Luke Cage's history as well. And also you see a lot of like Doctor Strange as well in the new Avengers, which yes. we'll get into when we get to Doctor Strange. That That is true, which we will have some Doctor Strange reading material in the coming months when we get closer to his movie. Mm -hmm. So if you like what you saw here, please check out all of our other segments. If you like Luke Cage, check out the origins and history of Luke Cage video that we have. And also the Who Can Break Luke Cage's Skin video. Um, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Check out all of our other videos over on our channel, and we'll see you guys over there. See ya. For more nerd videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.